Hey kiddos, today what you are going to do is you are going to listen to chapter two and then you're going to walk through and answer some questions about what you read. Okay, so I want to kind of review our rubric with you so that you remember what that is supposed to look like. Um, and then we're going to kind of talk about how I want the answers to your questions to look today. Okay, so if we scroll down here. Ooh, come on, there it is. All right, let's look at our rubric, okay? So remember, we talked about how we want to make sure that we're describing characters, not with little language, not with simple language, but with good, precise language. The word sad, gone. Mad, gone. Scared, gone. I want big, nice words that you're going to use to describe your characters today, okay? So to get a one, that just simply means you know who the main character is, which I'm hoping that we all can recognize that. I'm thinking that some of us may hang out right here at a two because we're still going to describe our character, but we're going to use simple language. So that's going to be like that sad, mad, scared. Okay. But if you want to push yourself to that three, that means you're going to describe your character with precise language. And then look at this really important word right here and support it with text evidence. Okay. So today I'm going to ask you to describe it using precise language and then supporting it with text evidence. If you want to push yourself to a four, because some of you feel like you're already there, then you're going to use explicit text evidence, which, which means I'm going to put two W's here because that means you're going to use that evidence word for word. Okay. All right. So let's look at kind of what your questions are going to look like today. So today you're going to log in. Um, to this video here, to Nearpod. Um, you'll watch a video of me kind of reminding you what characters are. Then you're going to um, listen to a video um, read to you. And along the way, there are going to be some questions there for you to answer. And I want to kind of talk about what my expectations are for these questions. So like, let's look at this first question here. Okay. It says, Percy has mixed feelings when he realizes he won't be returning to Yancey. What are his feelings? Why are they mixed? Use text evidence to support your answer. And then I told you where in the book you can find the answers to these questions, page 17 and page 18. So I do expect you to be following along in your novel today um, while you're listening and then going back and referencing that when you're um, supporting your answers. So look at how many questions I have here. What are his feelings? Why are they mixed? So I want you to tell me Percy feels blank. They're mixed because... And then I want your sentence stem in the text it said. And then I want good evidence from the passage, okay? So I should see a really good amount of, of words here when you turn this into me. Um, you'll get your book. You're going to go to those pages. You're going to look at page 17 and 18. You're going to kind of refresh your memory over it. You're going to pull sentences from the book or examples from the book to put into your answer, okay? So this is what you're going to do for every single question that you have today, okay? Um, make sure you are answering every question that's asked, that you're using text evidence, okay? And I want you to remember about our characters, how they are thinking, acting, feeling, and speaking. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment on Classroom. Other than that, kiddos, I just expect you to work really, really hard for me um, while I'm gone today, and I can't wait to see how good your answers are.